I was able to secure a identical section of mast and so I had plenty of material to do the splice with. Uh, I cut the uh, bottom section that I needed to add to the mast which were about 34 inches and then cut two sections which were more than the, the required three times the width of the mast. For the insert pieces I cut the trailing edge section of the mast and tried to use uh, the entire rest of the section trying to squeeze it and stick it inside the mast but the pieces did not fit just quite right so I ended up cutting the leading edge as well about three quarters of an inch and that allowed the two pieces to nest really nicely uh, inside of the of the mast section. Finally I trimmed uh, both the mast end and the um, splice uh, piece by cutting with a circular saw and that's fairly important to have a nice straight cut on it and I use a piece of paper wrapped around the circumference of the mast to draw a nice straight line and uh, end up with a, a fair line all the way around and First try, time out, it worked quite well. I was surprised. Here's our cheese grater. Yeah, I have to uh, put this one a little bit off center from this line because they cut out of the reinforcement uh, in there. So I'm getting ready to splice the uh, mast. I have um, this block in here will be inserted inside. And then I'll be putting some wedges to push the uh, first insert in and then put it flush against the, the mast. Uh, I'll have it epoxied and with a cable seal and epoxy paste so there's no voids in between all the fasteners. So everything will be pre-coated first with epoxy, then that epoxy paste on, then I insert the first half into it and drill the holes and tap them and screw them and basically progress through the first half here and then I'll turn the mask the other way around do the same thing on the other side and and then I'll have the inserts sticking out in here and then I'll come back with the next piece and do the same thing coat with epoxy both sides then put paste on insert the the piece in here line it up I have a channel in here that will line up the channel and and then I have a support in here to make sure everything is lined up and then I'll insert it put it under pressure and go ahead and fasten that's the plan
everything in here. Yeah. So now we're gonna get all the uh, this all the nice squeeze out. Nice to see that there's no voids on this. Gotta clean up now here a little bit. Get rid of all the uh, excess goop. And just being very careful here with the seam so there's absolutely no epoxy build up on the seam because the other piece is gonna sit right here. Yeah, good. Okay, so I'm uh, getting the second piece ready. So pre-wetting everything with epoxy. So um, number one was slight easier. <laughs> And number two, it's the bonds better. So this gets this, and then I'll make a mixture of cabosil and add to it. Be sure I have the edges well epoxy here. Okay. So this track in here. Line it up with the rest to keep it nice and straight. I have a little track. Should have started on the other end.